Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. In this video, I'm going to deal with a question that was posed to me by one of my viewers, a, a person called Damasio Egorov. So he mentions this YouTube video, which is a number file video at this link, and says that the presenter in there claimed that it cannot be based in geometry, <laughs> which of course is absolute rubbish. And this is the response I gave him. I said, the guy's an idiot. It's all geometry. The cross ratio is all geometry and it makes sense if you consider the fifth requirement. So uh, the, the thing to remember here is that the red and green lines that the presenter uses are transversals and they have this relationship between them. That is the corresponding sum of co angles are equal. So one could prove this either using the sine or the cosine property. Of course, it's pretty tedious because you have to go through each of the sections in the transversal. And then at the end, you'll end up with the solution, which is this, the cross ratio, which is AC times BD over BC times AD. And it's equal to the cross ratio on this transversal. So the, this is the cross ratio on this transversal, and this is a cross ratio on this transversal. I'll come back to this in a while. But the reason this is easy to prove is that one, the morons of mainstream academia never understood that there are no axioms in mathematics. And then it, they especially didn't understand the fifth requirement of Euclid, not postulate. And that's demonstrated in here. What that tells you is that no matter how you move a transversal between or over two lines, the sum of these angles is always equal, okay? So it'll only change if, for example, one changes the, the position of the lines. So the transversal, doesn't matter how you move it, the co interior angles are all equal. So this is what's happening in this particular uh, example. So we have any of these lines, and it doesn't matter where they are, okay? We can move these as we like, and these two ratios will always be the same. But take note, it doesn't matter how we move any of these transversals. The ratios remain exactly the same. Why? Because the angles on this side are always equal to the angles on this side. And also the, the sum of the angles on this side are always equal to the sum of the angles on this side. So there's really nothing fantastic about it. <clears throat> and it's pretty straightforward to understand. So I hope I've answered your question. <clears throat> I'm not going to go through the proof. It's tedious. It's very easy, but it's tedious. Okay, so um, I hope you've learned something from this and you can download this app at free or run it in a GeoGebra Classic. So I've given you the link to GeoGebra Classic. This here is the link to GeoGebra Classic. And then what you do to open it is you click on here and you say open and then you choose this file here, not the crap that's on GeoGebra resources. You choose the file like that, and then you choose it from whichever directory it's in, okay? So that's how you do it. Now, you can thank me by donating to my fundraiser. I actually have a fundraiser now. Um, if you want me to carry on enlightening you and to uh, become excited about writing more books because um, I hate writing, but if I have my own place and I don't have to worry about landing on the streets or have to worry about being homeless again, I'll be able to focus all my attention to uh, completing my work. I've already given you the new calculus free, which is the first rigorous formulation of calculus in human history. So show your appreciation by donating to my fundraiser and spread the news put it on youtube on your facebook and your youtubes and your any other link you have i don't have friends so i'm relying on you help me out i'm john gabriel this is a new calculus channel till next time goodbye